Hello guys, my name is Rubina Frenzel and I love to be a creature artist. Do you love dinosaurs and stylized art? And you always ask yourself how to create both things into one amazing 3D model? Then this tutorial is for you. I will talk about how to find references and the perfect ideas for your own personal project and how to use this to be more inspired and motivated for the whole project so you don't lose track on that. Then you will learn how to block out your creature in a very fast and easy way and how you can use this to build up everything you need from scratch. If you're struggling with finding ideas, then no problem. I will talk about that as well. And I will show you some tips and tricks how you can overcome this and to find a really great design for your own creature as well. And then of course we are jumping right into the sculpting from zero to hero. <laughs> well, from zero to a high poly model, but you will learn how to do that in a three layer sculpting process with alphas, with masking, with hand sculpting, everything you need. And I will show you how to do that. And what would be a creature when it wouldn't have a personality? And the best way to do that is throughout posing. And I will show you in ZBrush how I pose my creatures, the little details, what makes it more alive and what gives it a really cool personality. I will talk about what you can do with UVs and how many you need and all kinds of stuff so you get a better result when you rendering your textures out. And the next step will be a little bit more technical because we have to import our low poly mesh into ZBrush so we can project the high details onto our low poly mesh with the UVs because we want to learn how to poly paint the basic colors on our creature, which I think is pretty important to get a better result when it comes to texturing. And the third step is actually my favorite and it's coloring. We are painting some colors on our dinosaur and it will be a lot of fun because you can be creative with that. But before I'm Doing the paintings, I will talk more about why it's important to think more about the colors in general because colors are so important when it comes to the whole animal kingdom and I will tell you a few techniques and tips what you should remember when you're painting some colors on your creatures and why you have to choose specific colors for each creature. So everything we created from all the other steps before we try to put into Marmoset and create something really, really cool with just simple steps and basic knowledge. And I can definitely help you to get a better result when it comes to presenting your models and to just have some tips for you which improve your skills and which make your presentation and your portfolio a little bit better. And of course there are two more bonus videos about how to make your own alphas, what is pretty easy and another part is how to build a cool environment around your creature so you have a great story, a great atmosphere and great emotions into the whole project. And I really want to make sure that you are learning something here from the whole tutorial. So I created a study session for each part so you can jump right into practicing and improve your skills on the go. So if you are interested in learning more about creatures and dinosaurs and you want to add another technique to your workflow then I'm happy that I can share my knowledge to you and that you can create more cool creatures.